so move the equipment we're starting to get going. This is uh, kind of the mock-up racks for what's going to go in out of the mine. So this, we might have had photos of this before, but this is the carrier terminal that takes all the signals and puts them on one pair of wires. And then here is the test equipment for monitoring those carriers and modulation, and then also the HF ionospheric equipment. So this is the search receiver, and this is the modulator for the transmitter, the master oscillator for the transmitter, master oscillator frequency counter, and then this is the uh, frequency standard. That's uh, accurate to about eight decimal places, so that establishes the basic transmitting carrier frequency that goes out on the air. Right now it's being used to measure the, the frequency drift on the power line. So when this is moving, the frequency on the power line is not 60 cycles a second, and then when it stops, it's on 60. So if the curves are moving one way, it's lower, and they're moving the other way, it's higher. It was supposed to be a circle, but the master oscillator does not go down to 60 cycles. So. This equipment has been sitting here for a long time waiting to get going and finally now there's enough level of organization here that after all these years this stuff's going to start going into operation. And then uh, the effort now is to clean this room out here. And then hopefully we're going to get a bunch of uh, surplus equipment from AT&T and put the central office in this room. And this is where all the various signals from different parts will come in and all be correlated and then phased together and then go out as one coherent package of Earth signal receiving stations. To start with probably three or four and then as time goes on it'll more will build up and that will go on the internet. Also, the, the seismograph signals will be processed here, and they'll go on the internet also on what's called the musical seismograph. So I've got some floor plans already drawn up, so we can start the estimates of the wall building and what have you. So this is what's going in out at the mine. So this is what has to be built into the mine entrance. So it'll be a buried concrete building, 16 feet long and 11 feet wide. So those racks that are we just looked at, they go here. And the carrier equipment goes in them, but the test equipment and the HF stuff will go in a different type of cabinet rack, and that'll be these two here. So the equipment that's out there in the relay rack goes into the cabinet rack, and that's called the, the USN Bay. That's all United States Navy type technology. The RCA receiving equipment goes on this side. That stuff is, uh, has not arrived yet. And then the, um, the seismograph amplifiers and the carrier equipment and all of that stuff will go in the Western Electric Racks and then this will be the door back into the mine. And then the front entrance, the, these will be the batteries. Everything operates off of batteries. And then the batteries are kept charged from external source of power. This is the central office, the room out here, so you know, the wall gets built across the front to keep the dust and what have you out. And then these will be the racks that carry this side of the carrier terminal equipment and the amplifiers and modulators and what have you that make the stuff transmittable on the internet. And then the uh, its battery rack and then the shelves and the desk and all the rest of the stuff that make it a complete office. So that's what's uh, formulating right now. And then I don't think we need to say anything more about what went on out in the containers. So you got the still pictures out there, but there's a load of stuff here that needs to be organized and taken apart. So we can go look at some of some of that. So this is all the carrier telephone stuff here. This stuff doesn't get stripped, but it gets assembled. So we need four terminals all together. And here's a lot of the stuff here that will get taken apart. 
and then some of the stuff uh, gets installed and what have you. So then the big, uh, the big surplus yard back here. So most of this stuff in here gets dismantled for parts to build new equipment or spare parts for equipment that already exists. So what's lacking right now is enough material handling and storage capability to put all the parts after this stuff is dismantled before the new stuff can be built. So the first stage is to get things that are in the way out in the container and then get the shelves built in here and then start taking this stuff apart so the new equipment can be built from it. So not everything here gets taken apart, but it's kind of a 50-50 mix pretty much throughout, just like here too. There's things to be stripped and then there's things to be made to operate. And also there's an ever-increasing quantity of books here from all these presentations. And that's starting to become its own storage problem. So that's basically where it's at right now.